I suppose I'm probably in the age group where people are starting to find these things out and um, the more people seem to be getting checked nowadays than they were before, I think it's probably very important that people do um, because if you get it early enough, like everything, you can fix the problem. I never felt why me. I, I guess I'm almost the opposite. It was almost like, well, why not me? <laughs> Other people in my family and friends had had very significant health issues and this was just trivial by comparison so there was no ever any element of why me. It generally doesn't worry me if I have it I have it it's how I kind of roll with things a lot of people can have it one in seven people carry it and it's not really anything to be ashamed about. People talk about stigma and that kind of thing for medical um, conditions and so on but I do not see that with hemochromatosis. When you've got a condition where you have to have blood taken and if you can get it done at the blood bank, they always say each blood, each donation saves three lives. So it's like, oh, well, I have to have this done. I have to save three lives. So <laughs> I don't see how, that, how that's a, a bad thing, especially if you're catching it early enough that all of the negative co consequences have a much, a much lower risk of happening. So someone that is facing a, a diagnosis of haemochromatosis, I'd, I'd say don't despair. You know, this is a condition that can be very easily managed. The important thing is you have been diagnosed now and it's time to take action. Um, so don't worry too much about that. There's, there's treatment options in place here that are known to work. So uh, take advice on that and, and get started with getting yourself treated. I feel fortunate that I was diagnosed early. I think that's the real key here. I suppose once you're diagnosed with haemochromatosis, if you decide to do nothing about it, then you run the risk of major organ failure, failure oh. issues, diseases. Had we have known anything about it 20 years ago, he would have been tested, he would have been having his venesections, the iron levels wouldn't have been there, he may not have had the cirrhosis and, and the cancer that he's now dealing with. So if you choose to do nothing about it, then... That's the path you're heading down. That's the path you're looking at. It's a really insidious thing. So it can just sort of creep up on you. All of a sudden, feeling absolutely terrible is just the normal. That's why I feel like it's in people's best interest just to get tested regardless, because you could be just feeling normal, but your iron levels could be creeping up really high. Hemochromatosis, it's genetic. If your family has it or if your family has genes that make them a carrier of it, then you could have it too. So it is important that you eventually get tested for it. I had such a bad needle phobia um, that I think that my dad's warnings about it, just I just pushed them aside because I just didn't like getting tested. I didn't like getting a needle. I reckon that's why I just pushed it to the side for a long time and, and I even just forgot about it, you know, just buried that to my detriment, unfortunately. But um, I had to come to terms, obviously, with the needle thing. So this is a progressive condition and most people won't develop problems till they get into their 40s. But the earlier you can be picked up, the better it will be for you in the long run. But haemochromatosis, it is a mouthful to say and people often forget what it's all about. So if you need to remember, um, you can use this simple mnemonic test uh, tricky to say, easy to test for, um, simple to treat and tragic to ignore.